Pat, let's go ahead and jump to that shit then. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? I seen the workout. Cap look good, man. Yeah, I seen, I seen some video from the workout too. Of course, they probably only gonna show you the good stuff from the workout, so you ain't see. Nah, that. I watched it live. Oh, you watched it? Okay. Yeah, I watched it live. Like most of the cap looked like he been training for the last three years. That's good money. Accuracy was there. I mean, granted, like any other workout, there's nobody rushing. There's no defense yeah, yeah, yeah. rushing or nothing like yeah, that. Yeah. But now I'm saying his feet still there. He's still in shape. The motherfucker was, yeah. I saw a lot of good throws. And these were throws to wide receivers that he had no time to practice with. Yeah, like, so. they was they, they did their thing. Like, it was good. Um, I feel like, I feel like Cap. I know a lot of people don't want this nigga to get the chance now because he took the hush money. I'm still going to keep calling it hush money. And I'm 100% <laughs> in support of Colin Kaepernick. Don't twist that shit up. I support him 100%. I definitely want him to get a job. But that shit was hush money. Yeah. <laughs> you signed an NDA. Yeah. It's fucking hush money. Which is fine. Take the money, B. Yeah. I mean, Eric Reed took the hush money too, and so and, and he's playing. So I feel like. But Eric Reed just he ain't shutting the fuck up. Though. Yeah. He he yeah. took the hush money and was like, all right, nigga, thank you, but uh, I'm, I'm still I'm still gonna say what the fuck I feel like saying. He ain't never gonna need to shut the fuck up. He be all over the place with his thoughts. Everywhere. But yeah, I mean. I, I do feel like um, the NFL workout shit was a setup. I, I feel like it was bullshit. Yeah. Number one, they're going to do it on a Saturday when most most of the high-level scouts is either at college games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you know, looking at the, the motherfucking prospects for draft season or they with the team on the fucking yeah, road for the for, game yeah, the next day. Sunday, yeah. So, of course, no coaches was going to be there, even on a bye week. Like, them niggas is not showing up for that yeah. shit. This is my vacation week. Yeah, like, I'm going to the goddamn strip club or wherever the fuck coaches do on their weeks off. Oh, no, that's the owners. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, nah, it's like, I feel like, yeah, that shit was the whole, the way they set the workout up and all that shit, that shit just looked shady to me. That shit looked fishy as a bitch. Yeah. Like, I, I ain't feel like that shit was genuine. The more and more I read into it, I felt the same way. It's like, like the way that they really had so like you said, they they did the workout on Saturday. But even with the workout, uh, they wanted him to sign an injury clause that essentially had a waiver in there saying, or a clause in there saying that um, he couldn't sue them if he didn't get signed, which isn't the typical standard. Yeah, waiver. like why the fuck would you put that in there? Yeah. Like I, I mean, I understand, you know, shit's going on, and they could have worded that shit different. Like, yo, if if no Owners decide to pick you up. Yeah, yeah, it's not our fault. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, why the fuck would you? You shouldn't even put that in there. So that was the first thing. The second thing was the NFL didn't want any media to be there. And they didn't want Kaepernick's people to videotape the workout either. So they were going to have the Atlanta Falcons video people record the workout. And they were supposed to send it out to all 32 NFL teams. And I that's that's the part that I felt like was bullshit too. Yeah. And so the Caps team, they're like, why can't we record it ourselves too? You know what I'm saying? To make sure that the footage is what the footage need to be. And then they put out the bullshit statement saying, Oh no, he could have recorded and da 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 yeah. you know, after it was after too late. That, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like then I, if, I felt like they, they was gonna doctor the video to make it look like this nigga yeah. just not ready. Yeah. He, he can't play. He been eating fucking Krispy Kreme for three years. <laughs> like he just ain't been training and shit. And it's like, yo, I, I mean. So that they even tried to say that Nike wanted to record for a commercial. Nike was like, no, nah, we need y'all to retract that statement. Cause that's not the truth. Like, yo, nigga, we don't need that. Then on top of that, <laughs> they were gonna fit. The NFL was gonna pick the receivers he was gonna throw to. So he had no idea who he was throwing to as of Saturday or as of you know earlier in that week. Yeah, fucking. So he decided to fly his own people in. You know what I'm saying? So that's weird. Man, I don't know. They won't even tell you who you're throwing to. But because of all that, that's why they ended up moving the workout from the Atlanta uh, facility to the high school. That wasn't an official NFL workout at that point. That was cap people doing it on their own and him just putting it out there. Yeah, I mean, they said what? I think either four or eight. So eight teams. Eight teams still showed up to the. Eight teams showed up out of the 24 that were expected. So 
So hopefully something manifests about that. I just feel like the NFL gonna say some dumb shit like, "Oh well, it wasn't our official workout, so it's it's not valid." Or, you know, just some yeah. dumb shit. But it's just like, yo, I mean, rather the workout itself is valid, the world seen what the yeah, fuck it was. Yeah, that's so. all. That's all they really needed. I heard. I saw an article that said the Steelers had some interest in them. They need them. So, I know my Eagles were one of the teams that showed up. So for me, I take him as a good backup for Carson. Yeah, they need him. He. He would be great for y'all fucking third down conversions that y'all rarely convert. <laughs> Only cat played wide receiver. Everybody's hurt, man. We just we just, the injury bug is terrible. Yeah, I mean, that's like us too. We we got a lot of fucking injuries and shit. But yeah, I mean, what? I ain't gonna say what team can't he fit on, but like right now, so I will retract my statement that. He earlier I said that he was probably not better than any of the thirty-two starting quarterbacks. Yo, and we had. literally went down the list. And at the beginning of the season, and you I, gave him a no. Yeah, at the beginning of the season, I didn't honestly think so. I thought a lot of them had potential, and then you know the season's going along and they've shown their true colors. He's definitely better than Mitchell Trubisky. Absolutely, Jameis right. Winston, nigga broke the. James throws so many interceptions. I was gonna say, I, I was, I was waiting for that rebuttal. I, that shit is just so fucking terrible. You think James is better than Kaepernick? I don't know what James be seeing on the field. <laughs> That's your answer. You, <laughs> <laughs> Nick ain't gonna say yes or no. Because I, I, I can't say. I, I don't just, know I what the fuck still he be think, seeing on the yeah. field. <laughs> I still think Jameson is talented. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's talented. Can't as take fuck. that from he him. Just that man see ghosts on the field. He just has a knack for throwing the. Football to the wrong team. Yeah, they say uh, he's at what seventeen interceptions. It might be more than that. So far, he do four today for the season. Do four in the seventeen today. fucking interceptions for the season. I don't know, but I know he can throw the football because two of his wide receivers are two of the top wide receivers in the league between Chris Godwin and Mike Evans. Yeah, man, Mike Evans ain't give me shit. He on my fantasy team. This nigga got me like yeah, seven yeah, points. Because <laughs> Jameson threw four interceptions. So. And then the touchdown that Mike Evans got, they caught it back. And yeah. like three first downs, it was holding calls and shit on it. So it just was not a good day for me for betting or just yeah, no, fantasy sports. Yeah, it was yeah, just, it was today was just day. trash. Um, so Except no. for the Niners winning. That's the only thing. And that, and that shit barely happened. Yeah. Um, who else is he not better than? Yeah, the way Jared Goff is playing this year, he probably played better than Jared Goff this year. He would fit with the Rams too. Yeah, I could see him on the Rams. I could see him. The Cardinals could use him. No, no, Cardinals. Well, I mean, they, they, but they, they Kyle got Murray they got a rookie fire. though. They got yeah, a rookie Kyle, though, so he, he, they got though. a lot of. It would be pointless for them to draft him after they signed a rookie and they got got yeah. this nigga starting right now. So, uh, better than Marcus Mariota. Yeah, that's duh. Probably um, better than Daniel Jones, Dwayne Haskins. Definitely better than Dolphins quarterback. Yeah, yeah. Um, he we not he don't even get a name. <laughs> he's just the Both Dolphins. Of them. <laughs> he's just the Dolphins quarterback. Both of them. So, so I, yeah, I'll retract my earlier statement. I think Cap probably could fit in the league over some of these starting quarterbacks. Yeah, over a lot of them now. Now that we fucking half the season in. Yeah, you can actually see the talent. <laughs> but then again, I mean, you know, the same thing could apply to him. Like you said, we saw the workout. And it, like you said, ain't no defenders on the field rushing him and shit. So he could get in and be a bust too. But I think he, I, regardless, I think he played better than Mitch Trubisky. <laughs> <laughs> He's just the worst. So if nothing knows, he can just go to the Bears and just call it a day. Call it a day. <laughs> the Bears might have a shot then. The Bears might have a shot. Shit, they got a hell of a defense, so I could see that. Mm-hmm. Mellow back. We getting to that. Oh, yeah. We getting to that. I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. I was happy about that. Yeah, I, I, nigga, that's, I'm waiting for Tuesday. I, can't, I was hoping he was going to play yesterday. Yeah. But nah, so did you see what Stephen A said? Nah, what did he say? A lot of shit. So yeah, Stephen A said, Stephen <laughs> says a lot of shit. You got to filter through Stephen A bullshit. Yeah. Like, all right, this Because you cool. didn't see it, so this it's... Is, it's a lot to unpack, but he pretty much... That was, nigga is fucking loud all the goddamn time. But no, I'm talking about not even an hour after Cap workout video, like, finished and was uploaded and shit. This nigga's on Twitter like, he don't want to be in the NFL. And then he pretty much just 
jump straight behind the motherfucking NFL and bash the shit out of Cap. Yeah. He he ain't say nothing positive about what Cap did with the workout or why he might have switched it to nothing. He was like, "Yo, you blew an opportunity." Like they, he's a he's a motherfucking figure that they listen yeah. to. Like, you know what I'm saying? So for them to say, "Oh, you blew an opportunity," woo woo woo, all that shit. Like yeah. they might take that and run with it. You never know. You know what I'm saying? And then him and Eric Reed went back and forth, and then Eric. I don't know how true it is, but they said Jay Z said that Cap. Um, it was he felt like that shit was a publicity stunt. You know I mean, it probably was. Just to say, hey, we gave the nigga a chance. No, he think Cap's Cap's workout. Oh, uh, was a publicity stunt. He think Cap the, the Cap shit was a publicity stunt. Oh, um, but I mean, shit, that's a I, good publicity I, stunt. So I mean, yeah, and like I said, as I read the article, as far as the the transaction between Cap's team and the NFL. I can't really say that it was. I just feel like they wanted transparency in the situation. And yeah. Because they and they weren't trying to give him that. Yeah, because they weren't granted that. They were like, fuck it, we'll do it on our own. They weren't trying to give him no transparency. Like, oh. I really feel like they was going to make it look like Cap went in there and just was trash. He won't ready. He won't worth signing. Yeah. And call it a day. But yeah. I read an article saying Jay-Z had something to do with getting Cap that workout. I read that too, which confused me about the other article about him saying Cap yeah. shit was a publicity stunt. Well, well, regardless, it's salute to Hov. Yeah, always. Shout out to Hov. But yeah, we, I mean, I didn't, nobody seen him say that. Like, yeah, no. It was a bunch of just he said, people she fucking said. retweeting and like somebody saying that he said it. Jay-Z rarely makes statements anyway. And I don't think he's going to take time out of his day. The day of the workout is just yeah, that wouldn't be good. He's smart enough to go on the interview and say, "Hey, <laughs> even if that's really how he felt, I know he's smart enough to not say that." Yeah, I feel like he would have called Cap, especially after the bullshit happened with this him signing with the NFL and shit. Like, yeah, he'd be like, "Yo, what the fuck? Yo, you blew it." <laughs> yeah, my Jay Z impression is horrible. That is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that it was horrible. Was terrible. But y'all niggas knew who it was though. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, I don't know, man. So hopefully Cap gets signed somewhere. Wherever he go, I'm going to get the jersey. And if I'm probably never going to wear it because it's just disrespectful. Yeah, I'm not buying the jersey. Yeah. I don't care for him that much, personally. I just, hey, I, be that guy. We just supporting this nigga, man. That's it. Uh, uh, Buy it and sell it. There's my power to hey, support. Hey, you never know. <laughs> I mean, it depends on... If Kaepernick signs with the Eagles, I'll buy a Kaepernick jersey. Of course. If Kaepernick doesn't sign with the Eagles, that shit's going to shit on the shelf. Just like your favorite rapper's local mixtape. Woo. Woo. But yeah. So, hopefully he gets signed. 